Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Blazing Beards. My name is Andrew, and today, guys, we are going to continue my series of top fives. So, guys, I hope you watched my previous installment of my top fives where I reviewed my top five beard oils. If you haven't seen that video, go to my YouTube page, find that video, and watch it. I think you'll enjoy it. But today, guys, we're following up with my top five beard bombs. So, guys, what were my criteria for selecting my top five beard bombs? Well, the first criteria I used is I said, you know, on days where I'm not testing someone else's products, um, you know, for, when doing a review for a company, you know, on my free days, what do I go to the most? You know, what are the beard bombs that are in my rotation that I think perform the best in my beard? So that was my number one criteria. My second criteria, guys, was obviously the quality of ingredients. All of the beard bombs that I use have to have high quality ingredients. And I prefer some that have some unusual ingredients as well. I like to put some diversity in my beard. So, uh, guys, I think you'll find that in my top five, some of them have some unique and really cool ingredients. And um, I think you should check them out. Um, also, guys, you know, how did the beard bomb feel? Not only, you know, once I put it in my beard, but, you know, when you get a brand new beard bomb and you crack it open for the first time and you, and you go to scoop some out, do you get that ah feeling like, ooh, that's nice. So my beard bombs had to have that feeling. They had to melt down well. And uh, obviously, guys, they had to perform well. When you put them in your beard, you know, you had to feel that, you know, they were, you know, moisturizing your skin, providing, you know, softness to your beard, while also, at the same time, providing a degree of control. You know, my beard is pretty gnarly, and, uh, you know, I have a hard time, guys, keeping my beard in shape. So I definitely need beard balm, and, uh, you know, beard balm is important to me. So, guys, I hope when you watch this video, you'll find that, you know, my suggestions will help you with your beards as well. And, uh, you know, a couple other things that I looked at, guys, was I looked at the price. You know, are you getting a good value for your money with these beard bombs? Because nobody likes to feel like they overspent. And finally, guys, the scent. And why do I say finally the scent, guys? Because it was not in my top criteria for selecting my beard balm. But, you know, the beard balm that you do use, obviously, you have to enjoy the scent. Otherwise, you're not going to want to put it in your beard. So I definitely enjoy all the scents of these beard balms. And, guys, let's move on now and get started. And I'll share with you my top five. So how do you like that, guys? You're watching Blazing Beards video, and you've already got a bonus. That's right. Today, we're going to be doing an honorable mention as well. So you'll actually be seeing six of my favorite beard bombs. And coming in at honorable mention is the company called the Lumberjack Beard Company. Now, the Lumberjack Beard Company is owned by a really nice guy by the name of Mark. He was one of the first beard companies to send me products for review. So, Mark, I really appreciate that. Now, the Lumberjack Beard Company is located in the United Kingdom, uh, but it does have distribution centers in the U.S. Actually, when I first uh, talked to Mark about reviewing his products, he was based in Canada. And he told me he was moving to the U.K., but he was going to have U.S. distribution centers so that you don't have to worry. Your products will still get to you in an expeditious manner. So I think that is really cool. Um, in terms of this beard balm, the ingredients in this beard balm is babasu oil, coconut oil, shea butter, argan oil, jojoba oil, beeswax, vitamin E, and essential oils for scent. Um, in terms of the color and the consistency of this beard balm, guys, it is a very light, kind of an eggshell colored beard balm. In terms of the consistency of this beard balm, you definitely get that, ooh, that's nice feeling when you take it out. It is a nice, dense feeling beard balm. It is super creamy when you take it out of the container. And, you know, guys, it melts down really nice. This beard balm also has a really nice tack to it. I'm not going to put it in my beard now because I have another beard balm in my beard now. And you'll see that when we get to number one because that's what I am wearing today. So anyway, guys, this beard balm from the Lumberjack Beard Company, not only did it give a really nice hold, it was super creamy. It left my beard feeling really soft. And the only thing I would say is if you get beard balm from the Lumberjack Beard Company, you know, um, when you use it, 
you know, use a little less than you normally would because otherwise your beard might feel a little bit waxy. But if you use the right amount, you know, it does a great job styling, holding down the flyaways, and making your beard feel super soft. So honorable mention, guys, is the Lumberjack Beard Company. Now, I have it in the red or in the uh, red cedar and pine scent. Um, and I really like this scent. It is a very woodsy scent. It is a cedar scent. I don't really get the pine too much in this uh, in this balm, but it is a very pleasant scent for those days I want to feel woodsy. It's like walking into a lumber mill where they're sawing up cedar boards. It is very, very nice. Now, however, they do have several other scent options available as well. They have Cuban Cigar, Bourbon Vanilla, this red cedar and pine, and they have an apple pie scent, and they also have an unscented version. And I use that unscented version quite a lot for when I have beard oils where I've already run out of my beard balm, so it's a great option. Um, in terms of the price for their beard balm, this beard balm sells for $18 for a two ounce tin. Now that is slightly above market average, but from what I recall, if you go on their website right now, they're running a buy two get one free sale. I'm not sure how that long that's going to last, but that's a great deal, guys, for a very high quality beard balm. So I recommend you go check out the Lumberjack Beard Company. And again, thank you to Mark for being one of the first beard companies to send me out beard products for a review. Let's move on to the next. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, so coming in at number five is the Beard Balm by the Texas Beardsman. Now, the Texas Beardsman is owned by another super really nice guy by the name of Alan. Actually, I've done a couple of reviews for Alan, so if you haven't seen those guys, again, go back to my YouTube channel and look them up. I think you'll really enjoy them. But anyway, guys, uh, the Texas Beardsman is located in Hutto, Texas, um, and the ingredients in his Beard Balm are all natural shea butter, all natural pure beeswax, natural grapeseed oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, tea tree oil, orange bitter oil, peppermint supreme oil, and essential oils. So one of the interesting things about you know Allen's oils and bombs is they all contain orange bitter oil and peppermint supreme oil and he uses those as carrier oils instead of essential oils like you would think they would be but anyway they don't they don't you know scent the product at all but you get all the benefits of the orange bitter and the peppermint oils in every product in terms of the color and the consistency for Allen's beard bombs or the Texas Beardsman's beard balm the color it is again is a light yellow beard balm. In terms of the consistency of this beard balm, it feels pretty soft when you take it out of the tin for the first time, but it is nice and creamy. In terms of when I melt it down, I do feel just the slightest little bit of grit to it, but you know, it's no problem. It melts down right away, and it does have a pretty good tact. I wouldn't say it's a strong holding beard balm, but it is definitely a medium holding beard balm. And this beard balm I really like uh, on days where I blow dry my beard straight um, and I don't need, you know, a super lot of control, but it does give me enough control when I blow dry my beard to keep it, you know, all the flyaways down and help me give it a good style. In terms of the way it spreads through your beard, you know, it's a soft beard balm. It spreads through super easy and it definitely does a great job moisturizing your skin and softening your hair. Once it dries, you don't feel that you have beard balm in there at all. Your beard feels nice and fluffy. Um, now, the Texas Beardsman, you know, the scent that I have here is called the Troubadour scent. And uh, guys, this is a really nice cologne type scent. It is like a cedar and leather type scent. And it is, uh, you know, it is very, very pleasant. But Alan also has 13 other scents. So basically, you know, there's something for everybody at the Texas Spiritsman, and they are super high quality products. In terms of the price, the price for a two ounce tin of their Beard Balm is $15 for two ounces. So it is right there at market average, a really good deal. So guys, I recommend you go and check out the Texas Spiritsman's Beard Balm. Let's move on and see who's up next. All right.
right guys, so coming in at number four is a beard bomb from one of my favorite beard companies, Barn Brand Beards. So they're beard bomb guys that came in this really nice glass container. It is a one ounce container. It is made out of green glass. So guys, I'm not sure whether it's going to, you know, wreak havoc with my green screen software. So I'm going to put a picture of it up right here so that you can see it just in case. So anyway, guys, um, Barn Brand Beards is owned by a super nice guy by the name of Tex. And they have a really interesting backstory. Um, you know, Tex, uh, he is a veteran. He has served tours in both Iraq and Afghanistan. While he was in Afghanistan, he was wounded and he was sent to a hospital in Germany. There he met a nurse who basically took Tex under her, her wing while he was in rehabilitation and she taught him how to saponify and make his own all-natural soap. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what started Tex in the, you know, hygiene and men's grooming industry. And I think it goes to show that if you have a lot of character, you know, you can turn a huge adversity into a big positive. And it's lucky for us that he did because now we have products from Barn Brand Beards. So, Tex, thank you very much for your service. I really appreciate your products and I appreciate, you know, the character that you showed to turn that adversity into a positive. I think it is really cool. Um, also, another thing to know about Tex is, you know, Tex is married and his wife, uh, his wife's family, also is in the hygiene and grooming industry. They have a company that caters to women. Um, it is called the House of Cheatham, and it has been in their family for generations. And together, if you add, you know, Texas experience and his wife's experience together, they have more than 30 years experience in the hygiene and grooming industry. So I think it's really nice to know that you're getting products from people that really know what they're doing. Um, so guys, let's go ahead and talk about the bomb. So like I said, the bomb came in a really nice one ounce glass container. Uh, you know, it is a green glass. It is very, very, you know, sexy looking. On top it has, you know, one of these plastic safety, you know, lids on the top. And inside, guys, you'll see, you know, it is a really nicely colored beard bomb. It is a, an off-white or a slight yellowish hue to it. And it is a super, super creamy and nice uh, feeling beard balm. It is dense. You know, it's a really, yeah, I would say a really dense beard balm. In terms of the way it melts down, you know, it melts down instantly. The thing that I really like about it is this is a good stronghold beard balm. And guys, for days where I don't blow dry my beard, or even if I do blow dry it, you know, if I want it to stay in place all day long, this is definitely one of my go-to balms. And it doesn't hurt either that it smells amazing. This one is in the Autumn Espresso scent. And basically, what you get from this uh, Beard Balm, the scent, is you get that really nice, rich coffee smell, but it also has a cinnamon and kind of an anise-type smell to it. That's a black licorice smell. And these smells meld together beautifully. It's a really nice scent to have in your beard, and it's even better that, you know, it has such a super strong hold. One thing you want to be sure of is that you use less of this than your normal beard balm. Otherwise, your beard will feel a little bit waxy. But if you use the right amount, guys, your beard will feel super soft and luxurious. It will feel well conditioned. And you don't have to worry about any of those hairs popping out or your beard getting out of place. It is an awesome beard balm. Um, in terms of, you know, the scent options, uh, I believe Tex has five different scent options. Uh, available in his beard balm, and he is always adding more. The great thing about Barn Brand Beard Companies is they're always improving. They're always adding new products. They're always updating their formulas. And pretty soon, from what I understand, they're going to have a new website. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. That's coming out in, I believe, January. And in terms of the price, guys, the price for this um, beard balm, for a one ounce jar of beard balm, I think sometimes he sells them in tins, sometimes he sells them in jars. I think it just depends on what scent profile you get. But for a one ounce tin of their beard balm, it sells for a great price of $8. So overall, guys, highly worthy of coming in at their number four position. Let's move on to the next one.
All right, gentlemen, so we are now entering meddling territory. And coming in with the bronze medal at number three is Everyman Jack. So most of you guys probably have heard of Everyman Jack. You know, if you go into Walmart, you go into Target, or several other retail locations, you will find Everyman Jack products. You know, they have a huge product line, and they have grown into a very big company. They are located in California, and they make all of their products in the USA. And from reading a little bit about them on their website, you know, they started off as a small company. They prided themselves on providing all natural or as close to natural ingredients as possible while still maintaining, you know, the integrity of their products. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, in terms of the ingredients in their beard balm, their, in, their beard balm has a lot of ingredients. Um, some of them you may have heard of before, some of them you may not, um, but I did research them all and they are all good for your skin and your hair. So um, you have very good ingredients in here. What they have in them is shea butter, beeswax, cetyl alcohol, safflower seed oil, sterile alcohol, lanolin, wax, capric triglyceride, trigly triglycerides, uh, jojoba seed oil, fragrance, silica, tocopherol acetate, now that's the synthetic version of vitamin E, tea tree oil, rice bran extract, rosemary extract, sunflower seed extract, and then they have tocopherol, the natural version of vitamin E. So overall guys, I don't know why they have both the synthetic and the natural version of vitamin E in their beard balm. It probably has something to do with, you know, they're a big company. They have to make sure their products last long on the shelves. And I think the tocopherol acetate, the synthetic version, actually has more long-lasting preservative capabilities than the natural vitamin E. So I think that's probably why it's in here. But both versions are good for your beard. Um, in terms of the color and the consistency. So it is a white colored beard balm. And in terms of the consistency of this beard balm, it is a very, very dense beard balm. It does have a slight little bit of grit to it, but you know that grit melts away you know, pretty easily. But the thing that I really like about this beard balm is it is a super holding beard balm. And for my gnarly, you know, gray beard, it definitely needs that degree of hold. Um, this was one of the first beard bombs I ever purchased, you know, when I first started growing my beard and I've stuck with it ever since because whenever I have an important event, like I have to go to church or a business meeting or, you know, something where my beard has to be on point, I know I can rely on this beard bomb. And in terms of the scent of this beard bomb, Every Man Jack only has one scent for their beard bomb, and that is a sandalwood and vanilla scent. Now, it only says sandalwood on the lid, but it does have vanilla in it as well, and it is a super pleasant scent. I love sandalwood, I love vanilla, and together they smell really good. Now, they do have some other scents in their beard oil. They have a cedar in their beard oil as well, so I don't know why they don't make the bomb in that scent as well, because that's also very nice. But anyway, very firm holding balm. It does a great job making your beard feel soft, but like any firm holding balm, you want to use a little less of it than you would, you know, a medium or, you know, your standard beard balm that you would find, uh, because otherwise your beard will feel a little bit waxy. But overall, guys, this is a great balm. It is one of my definite go-to balms when my beard just has to be on point. In terms of the price, you know, price is fantastic for a two ounce jar of their beard balm. This sells, you know, in Target and Walmart or on the website for $10. So a fantastic price for a fantastic product. You can't go wrong. So guys, that's why every main jack, metal with the bronze at number three. Let's move on to the final two contenders. Okay guys, so coming in with the silver medal, and this guys was a really tough decision because this is a fantastic beard balm. So um, you know, it is right there, like the slide before this showed, it was a photo finish. The company whose beard balm I'm talking about 
is J-O-F-M. That stands for Jolly Old Fat Man. And yes, guys, you got it. They have a Christmas theme. The owner of this company is a guy named Brian. He is a really super guy with a big heart. And, you know, everybody calls him Bam. Santa Bam. That's because Bam, you know, he saw that there was a need in his community uh, where, you know, the children, you know, they would go to a mall and, you know, there would be Santas at the mall and they would charge 40, 50 bucks to get a photo with Santa. And he thought that wasn't, you know, the greatest thing that, you know, every kid should be able to enjoy, you know, sitting on Santa's lap and getting a picture with Santa. So, you know, Bam decided to become a Santa himself. And every year he converts his yard uh, in his neighborhood into a huge Christmas display with hundreds of thousands of lights and displays and he plays Santa for the kids there and they can come and get a free photo with Santa. So I think that is really cool. Bam, you got a great heart and uh, you also have some great products. So why did Bam develop his beard bombs? You know, being a Santa for the children, you know, he wanted a beard bomb that was white. Now, if you've ever talked to a Santa, you know, someone who plays Santa who has a natural beard, you know, they have to dye their beard or bleach their beard to a bleach white color. Um, one that's, you know, not really good for your beard hair, but what happens is when you use a regular, you know, colored beard oil, even if it's a slight yellow color or a yellow colored balm, when your hair is bleached, it will actually absorb those colors. So Bam needed a beard balm, and so did all his Santa friends that would not stain his beard. He also noticed that, you know, when he used other beard bombs, even if they were like a clear, clear type color or a white type color, you know, they left his beard feeling a little bit greasy. And the kids always want to, you know, touch Santa's beard, play with Santa's beard. And, you know, he didn't like it if the kids would, you know, come away from touching his beard with greasy fingers. So, you know, that was the other thing that was very important to him. So he developed his own beard bomb for himself and other Santas and anyone else who would like to use it. And it is a very special bomb. This bomb, um, in terms of the ingredients, the first ingredient in here is very unusual for a beard bomb. I've never seen it before, but it is a great ingredient. It is called BTMS 25. That stands for Behetrimonium Methyl Sulfate. Now guys, that sounds scary, but it's an all natural product or all naturally derived. And what it is, where you usually see it, is you usually see it in rinse out conditioners. It is an emulsifying wax. And what that means is it helps the water and the oils in the product to combine together or emulsify to become one homogeneous unit. But it also has fantastic conditioning properties in terms of making your beard hair soft and, you know, detangling it and defrizzing it. So it is a great ingredient for a beard balm. So it has BTMS 25, mango butter, shea butter, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, and apricot kernel oil. So guys, fantastic ingredients. It's the first bomb I've used that has, you know, BTMS 25 in it. And the first time I used it, I fell in love with this bomb. It is so nice. In terms of the consistency of it and the color, the color, of course, is white. In terms of the consistency, it is a very smooth, smooth bomb. And when you first pull it out, you, you think to yourself, wow, that is really light. That's not going to have any hold at all. But in terms, you know, it melts down pretty good. I do get a little bit of chunks of that, you know, BTMS wax in there that you have to rub a little more to get it to melt down all the way. But once it's melted down, it is, you know, really, really nice. The scent of this bomb is really nice too. I'll talk about that in a minute. But in terms of, you know, the performance of this bomb, what I found is when I put this bomb in my beard, you know, it spreads super easily because it feels super light. And I wasn't expecting it to have any hold. And in fact, on their website, it said it's a light holding bomb. And what I found is, yes, it is a light holding bomb. I would say light to medium. But um, the way that it performs, to me, 
it performed a little different than other bombs, and I'm pretty sure it's because of the BTMS that is in there. It seemed to relax my beard hairs. In other words, it helped them to lay down. Uh, instead of sticking out, it kind of relaxed the hair. It made it super soft. It made my beard feel super fluffy. And uh, at the same time, the hairs laid down instead of sticking out. So I thought that was really, really cool. Um, in terms of, you know, the way it made my beard feel, it was super soft. It is one of the softest feeling bombs that I have tried, and I really liked it. So I highly recommend you guys try this out. It has a unique ingredient, a, that BTMS, and it is awesome. In terms of the scent, back to it, um, this one is in the 25 cent. Now, I believe BAM has 13 cents in total. Um, but this, they all have a Christmas theme to it, which I think is also pretty cool. This one is 25, obviously, for the 25th day of Christmas. This is his signature scent. This is a masculine cologne type scent, and it's got a bit of everything in there. It's got melon, it's got citrus, it's got rose, it's got patchouli, and it has musk in there. So overall, when they combine together, it is a very nice, high-end, expensive type cologne, and it became, or it is, their signature scent. And guys, it is awesome. I think you should check it out. In terms of the price, the price of this beard bomb for a two ounce tin is $17.25. So that might be slightly above market average, but you are definitely getting a way above market average product. And I highly recommend you guys go and check these guys out. So guys, what do you say? We move on and find out who the winner is. The beard bomb that's coming in with the gold medal. All right, my bearded brothers, so coming in with the gold medal, the number one spot is none other than Nicholas Beardworks. So guys, Nicholas Beardworks is owned by a super nice guy by the name of Alex, and they are located in Buffalo Grove, Illinois. And guys, if you had watched my prior top five video, you would have noticed that Nicholas Beardworks also took the number one spot for beard oils. So you're probably asking yourselves, why has Andrew selected Nicholas Beardworks again? For the top beard bomb. And guys, I'm going to tell you, Nicholas Beardworks has become the standard bearer as far as I'm concerned for top quality beard products. And if you haven't tried them, you should definitely go out and give them a try. But anyway, guys, in terms of why did they win my top beard bomb? It is because, and I'll give you a little story with this that started about 18 months ago. So about 18 months ago, I was about nine months into my bearding journey, and I was growing a yeard. And at that time, I had tried lots of different beard bombs. And overall, I'd say I was satisfied with them, but uh, I wanted to see if there was something better out there. You know, most of the beard bombs that I had tried in the past were shea butter based, and then they had beeswax, and then they had these standard mixes of carrier oils. You know, like jojoba, argan oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil. And guys, there's nothing wrong with that. Companies use those ingredients because they work. Um, but I wanted to see at that point whether there was something that I would think might be better. So I did a lot of searching on websites and, you know, at different beard companies looking at the ingredients. And then I stumbled across Nicholas Beard Works on Amazon. And I looked at the ingredients and they really intrigued me. The first ingredient listed on their Beard Bomb label is organic lanolin. And for you guys that don't know what lanolin is, lanolin is sheep sebum. It is an oil that is extracted from the shorn wool of sheep. And what that lanolin does, it acts to waterproof the wool, and it also conditions it and makes it super soft. And guys, your own body produces sebum as well. So I thought, hey, what could be a better ingredient for a beard product than lanolin? or sheep sebum in that it imitates the actual sebum that your own body produces to make your hair or to keep your hair healthy. So I thought that was a really 
interesting ingredient. So I bought it and I was super impressed with it. The other ingredients that are in this beard bomb besides the organic lanolin are jojoba oil, argan oil, organic shea butter, organic cocoa butter, sea buckthorn oil, which guys is a very expensive uh, carrier oil, uh, rosehip oil, which is another high-end oil, pumpkin seed oil, fractionated coconut oil, castor oil, sweet almond oil, beeswax, and here's a new one guys, spruce sap, um, and then essential oils and vitamin E. So I was very intrigued with the ingredients that were listed. Let's take a look at the color and the consistency of this beard balm. So the color guys, it is a brighter yellow type color. So the color even was a little unusual. And then when you take it out guys, it is a super smooth and creamy beard balm, but it has some weight to it. It's a really nice body to it, I would say. And then when you melt it down, it is instantly melted down and it has a nice amount of tack. So, um, you know, for me and my gray curly beard, you know, I really do need a beard balm that has a nice amount of tack. And this one has in it, you know, the lanolin, which, you know, is basically a oily, waxy substance. It has uh, spruce sap, which is, you know, tree sap, and it also has beeswax. So overall, guys, it gives a great hold. In terms of the one that I'm using now, this is called their Spoldering Oud, and I'll get to that scent in a minute. Um, but overall, guys, when I put this in my beard, you know, it spreads super easy. Like I said, it is, a, it is light, but, you know, it's got body to it. And it spreads super easy through my beard. It did an amazing job at, you know, moisturizing my skin, making my beard feel super, super soft and luxurious, and it had a great hold. It has become one of my go-to bombs whenever I have an important event to go to. I use either this one, or I think, like you saw in a uh, previous you know, uh, section of this video, I use either this one or Everyman Jack when I have to have my beard exactly on point. This is a really good beard bomb. My beard feels super, super soft, and the only thing I would say about this beard balm, guys, is you do have to use a little less of it. Because when you first, you know, melt it down, you'll notice it is a little bit greasier than your standard formula beard balms. But that grease goes away, guys, because it absorbs into your hair and into your skin super fast. So I was very, very impressed with this beard balm when I first tried it. And like I said, I am still very impressed with it today, and I have yet to find one that I think tops it in terms of overall performance, both in conditioning and styling. So I highly recommend that you guys go check out the bomb from Nicholas Beardworks. In terms of the scent, this one happens to be the Smoldering Oud, and it is really nice. It is a, you definitely get that incense Oud smell, but you also get a really smoky kind of like a campfire smell to it as well, and overall it is very masculine cologne, and I really enjoy it. Now, Nicholas Beardworks sells their bombs in over 30 different scents, so there's definitely something for everybody and something that you can find that you will enjoy. Um, in terms of the price, the price for Nicholas Beardworks for a 2-ounce tin of this beard bomb, it is $20. So, Guys, that might be slightly over market average for a beard balm, but it is an amazing product and it has amazing high-end ingredients in it. And actually, guys, it is a really good deal. I think you should definitely go check it out, see why I consider this one to be the standard bearer for the best beard balm on the market. So, guys, that is my opinion of Nicholas Beardworks. That is why they came in number one. And... Uh, they are fantastic. Let's move on and conclude this video. All right, my friends. So I hope you enjoyed this top five beard bomb video. And stay tuned because I'll be doing some additional top fives in the near future. Guys, I would love to hear back from you. What do you think of these products here that I reviewed today? Have you tried any of them? You know, what do you think of them? Are you as impressed with them as I was? Also, do you have some top fives of your own that didn't make my list? I would love to hear about it so that I can try those out as well. And guys, if you like this video, please give it a like. 
hit the notification bell so that you'll know whenever I release new content. And guys, see down here in the corner of your screen, that red box with the white arrow in it? That is the subscribe button. And I would really appreciate it if you would click that right now and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, guys, grow yourselves a blazing beard. See ya.